What's up guys, Thomas from FJ86 Speed Factory and today we're doing the first oil change on our 86 and I'm going to be installing the Fumoto oil drain valve which is going to make every oil change from here on out quick and easy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but changing the oil is not my favorite thing. And I like anything I can do to speed up this process, like installing the Fumoto oil drain valve. And this just swaps into the factory drain plug. And whenever you want to change your oil the next time, all you have to do is depress this lever and your oil drains right out. However, the idea of having a small lever holding all of the engine's oil could be scary to some. And some might even think that if you hit a big enough pothole or a rock, that all of the engine's oil is going to be splashed out in the middle of the road. But that's incredibly unlikely because these valves have a double seal to prevent any leaks and it takes quite a bit of effort to release the pressure for the lock and slide that valve open and that's something that's not going to happen on the road if you hit a pothole. But Fumoto has listened to these concerns and what they've come up with is a clip to secure the lever from moving which is going to make it virtually impossible for this to open up while you're driving. Now for the oil and oil filter for our 86, we got a ton of different options from our website. Now for the oil, we need a full synthetic 0W 20 weight oil. We've got options from Redline, Royal Purple, Subaru, Ineos, and Modal. And for the oil filters, we have an even larger selection from TRD, STI, Cusco, Prova, HKS, Gretti, Subaru, Blitz, and KNN. And out of all those options, we're going with the Modal Ecolite and an OEM Subaru oil filter. Now whatever oil you choose to go with, you're going to need at least 6 quarts because these engines have an oil capacity of 5.8 quarts. And in reality, you're going to be draining and filling about 5.5 quarts, so you need that extra 6 quart to get a full oil change. Now the only tools we need for this is a 14 millimeter wrench and that's to remove the factory drain plug. And you'll also need a 17 millimeter wrench to tighten down the Fumoto drain valve. Now to get our oil drained, we're going to have to go underneath the car and locate the drain plug which is in the center more or less of the engine and has this convenient cutout here. So we'll take our 14 millimeter wrench and get this undone. Alright, now I'm going to pause it real quick and just share a quick detail on how short the actual drain plug is and it doesn't take very many threads to remove it. So keep that in mind so it doesn't come out unexpectedly and splash everywhere. While we wait for the oil to drain, it's a good idea to check the cabin air filter because it's what filters most of the air that you breathe inside the car, and it's especially good if you or anybody who rides in the car has allergies. And it's a pretty easy thing to check out, and it's right behind the glove box. Now to get behind the glove box, you'll first need to open it, and then you can kick out the tab on this glove box support, and then we need to push in on these two tabs, and the whole glove box can be removed. Then there are going to be these two tabs that you need to press in and then that'll give you access to the cabin air filter. Now ours doesn't look very dirty but that's because we haven't put a ton of miles on our brand new 86 but we pulled one out of our BRZ that's been driven for quite a bit and it is a horrible example. This one is completely full of dust, dirt, it's got small insects, dead leaves and there's even a good sized spider in there. Now inside the owner's manual, they recommend you change these every 15,000 miles, but if there's any bit of dirt in there, I recommend you change it because this is the air that you're going to be breathing on a daily basis while you're driving your car and it should be as clean as possible. Now we have replacements, we have the OEM one, as well as a k and filter that's reusable so you only have to buy it once and you can clean it and continue using it for the life of the vehicle. Now that we've checked the cabin air filter and the oil's done draining, all we have left to do is install the Fumoto oil drain valve and we can do that with a 17 millimeter wrench and then we can install the locking clip to make sure the valve doesn't open until our next oil change. Now we can finally get underneath the hood and put some new oil in and change out the oil filter and the first thing I like to do is remove the oil cap so we get more room to take off the oil filter. And depending on who torqued the oil filter on last, you should be able to get it off with just your hands. Then we'll need to take a clean paper towel or an old rag and clean this mounting surface off. Get all the old oil and any dirt off. And then we want to double check and make sure that the old O-ring from the old oil filter is not on there so we don't get an improper seal. 
Now to prepare the new oil filter, we'll need to lubricate that O-ring so you can dip your finger in the new oil and lubricate that ring before you install it. Now when you do install it, you don't need to go crazy and get a torque wrench out. You should be able to get it good and tight by just using your hands. Now it's really handy to use a funnel when you're pouring in your oil, but if you're like us and you can't seem to find your funnel, you can easily make one by chopping the bottom off of a water bottle. Then we can add five quarts of oil and wait a little bit for it to settle on the bottom so we can get an accurate dipstick reading. And on ours, it was just below full, so we're gonna add a little bit more to top it off, but make sure you don't go past the full mark. Then the only thing left to do is start the engine, let it run for a bit, warm up, and check for leaks. Changing your own oil is an easy way to save on maintenance costs, and with the Fomoto oil drain valve, it makes it even easier. Now, if you want to check out this oil drain valve, you can head over to our website by clicking right here. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to get notified when the next video comes out, make sure you hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. This is Thomas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, who the f makes their bolts that short?